Yeah. Hey, good evening to you, Kristen Andrew. And the, those family members are telling me uh, that they just plan to keep the legacy that Charmaine and Larry Anderson built in this Beltsuver home alive forever. Losing both their matriarch and patriarch in the place the whole family called home as devastating flames tore through its walls early this morning. They'll be greatly, greatly, greatly missed. My heart is broke. My heart is broke. Lenise Anderson is one of three children belonging to 76 year old Larry and 74 year old Charmaine Anderson, who called this Beltsuver house home since 1972. They said dad together. 57 years, one wouldn't have been without the other. It was around 540 this morning. Krista Washington was called by neighbors to tell him flames were engulfing his grandparents Cedarhurst Street home. Firefighters say they got to the house within four minutes, but neither Larry or Charmaine survived. For them to go out together, um, we couldn't have had another way, honestly. Now left remembering their legacy and the perfect notes they hit when it came to love and family. So my grandfather played the guitar all my life, played the bass, the piano. My grandmother played the bass also. Uh, she was a singer. Um, they had a group for years and years and years. They toured around. They loved their family. They loved their community. You know, this was always a house that anybody could pull up to and get love because they always gave their love to everybody in the community. It's a legacy. They left a legacy that I'm proud of, but I'm proud to carry on. A legacy of love, family, and music. It helps to know that they're together, yeah. for sure. So we'll get through this. We have community, we have family, family. and friends, and so we'll, we'll make it happen. And the family has been outside all day. I uh, hear them reminiscing, sharing some stories. We're back here live at the, the now charred house, I should say. You can see that heavy damage really uh, kind of on that second floor. It's unclear if the home is repairable at this point. We do know uh, that from public safety that investigators are still trying to determine the cause, but it does not appear to be suspicious. And one last thing I want to leave you with is that tomorrow would have been uh, Larry Anderson's 77th birthday. Live from Pittsburgh's Beltsuver neighborhood tonight, I'm Tori Yorgi for Pittsburgh's Action News 4.